Senator Ted Cruz today went for a haircut. Where did he go? The Dallas Salon. Last night, you remember, this owner jailed, fined $7,000, sent to jail because she wouldn't tell the judge, you need to apologize or the politicians. Uh, we had Shelley Luther on their show last night. Good for her. She explained why she defied the lockdown order. Oh, she would rather uh, take care of her children and let people that work for her uh, feed their families, and that's not selfish. How dare that judge call her selfish? Take a look. My stylists were telling me that they wanted to, you know, what do you think if I go underground and go to people's houses? And I just said, you know, that's not a good idea because we can't control the environment there. We, we don't know if it's been disinfected or anything like that. And I just decided I would open to create a safe place for the stylists and uh, to make sure that I wasn't the reason they weren't making money. Senator Ted Cruz was one of the first people to raise awareness when Shelley was thrown in jail. I also got to credit the governor, lieutenant governor, the AG of Texas. All across the country, states are now beginning to reopen. I'm confident it can be done and done safely. Why? Because I'm in the middle of this crap the whole entire time. And I go to the store every weekend and I saw these guys stocking the shelves. And if it wasn't for them, New York would have starved. None of them got sick. I talked to them every week. The people that made the medical equipment that kept New York alive, they worked every day. They never shut down. And by the way, at bigger venues, okay, I want open stadiums. How about temperature checks? You have a high temperature, you get pulled aside, and you say, we'll give you tickets to another game. Increase screening process. Uh, let people at stadiums wear masks. Look at this turnstile. It takes people's body temperature. You just walk right through. Boom, boom, boom. You, big crowd's not a problem. As they enter an arena or a stadium, the key is to be safe. Pre take the precautions. Use common sense. I say, if I have to wear the mask, I'll wear it. Ted Cruz wore it when he got his hair cut. Senator, good for you. Thank you for doing that. I really, really admired the fact that you went there. I feel sorry for her. That judge was a despicable disgrace. He should have shown some level of compassion and understanding for people that need to feed their families and not lecture them about apologies for politicians and calling them selfish. Well, Sean, I was proud to be there this morning, and, and I got to say, what happened to, to Shelley Luther was was a disgrace, and 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 I felt in, embarrassed for my home state of Texas that this happened in Texas. Number one, seven days in jail for cutting hair is nuts. That's just crazy. You, you've got local officials across the country that are releasing violent criminals. They're releasing murderers and rapists and child molesters be, because of COVID-19. And we're going to lock up a small business owner be, be, because she's opening up her business. That doesn't make any sense. But number two, her sentencing hearing, anyone who hadn't watched it, you ought to watch it because the judge demanded of her, said, I won't put you in jail if you apologize to the elected officials who issued these rules. Well, who the hell? This is America. The, the, the citizens don't have to apologize to elected officials. We work for you. And, and it was embarrassing and wrong. And I will say Shelley's response, she didn't she wasn't disrespectful. She wasn't angry. She just told the judge. Judge, I can't apologize, and I can't ap apologize for wanting the people I work with to be able to feed their kids. And, and, and it was powerful. And so she got out of jail last night. I got on a plane first thing this morning, flew to Dallas, and, and, and went in to get my hair cut. By the way, I hadn't had a haircut in three months, so I needed it. Uh, hey, Senator, but, but I, 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 think, I think they missed the uh, Senator, I, I, I think they missed the beard. I'm just looking. I, I don't think they did a big <laughs> trim around the beard. <laughs> I don't know what you started the beer. I was very, I was very glad that you did that. Um, you know, I, I, I compared it when a boyfriend was on, not last night, the night before. Nice guy. They're both nice. Yep. And, yep. you know, I said, he was it, it reminded me of dog. William Wallace. Remember Braveheart? Yep. The yep. end where they're about to kill him. The prisoner wishes to say a word. And he screams out freedom. Oh, are you going to apologize to the politicians in her own way? She screamed out, it's not selfish to feed, want to feed my family, Judge. Sean, in some of the, the toughest battles in the Senate, when conservatives were outnumbered and beleaguered, Mike Lee, my, my good friend, has texted me that clip from Braveheart of William Wallace just yelling, Freedom! And that was powerful. That's what Shelley was doing, and, and, and all of Texas and all of the country was grateful that, that she had the courage to do that. 
You showing up kicks some serious ass. Good for you. You sent a message as well. And by the way, it's not the state of Texas. New no. one judge. You were there. The governor was there. The AG was there. The lieutenant governor was there, and the people of Texas were there. I need to get the and hell the out Supreme of here and move down to Texas. Order for released as well. So, with the right thing happened.